Oh, you know, whiskey still is not something you run into here every day. Bootlegger stash, a whiskey maker stash. That, that is a scene. On a mission to discover history, no matter where it takes them. You are now live with the History Seekers. It's really a pretty good hill. And there was a house place right up there. And we found some uh, seeded half dimes, some old bottles and stuff up on top of that. So we're going to get down in here. Walk with me just a second. Check this out. We are going to detect through here today. And it's a little muddy. We've had a lot of rain. The creek's flowing. And this is actually a spring. It comes out of the mountain right there. So uh, they, they wash their clothes down here too. So we found bottles from the 1850s, 1860s down here. There could be some more coins. We're going to get down here. We've never metal detected right here. So we're going to check this. May find something. Maybe we'll find some old bottles. Let's see what we find. All right, guys. This is one of the places the... Uh, it actually goes under, it comes out from the ground. And we're down in this valley. Looks like the camera doesn't do these hills justice, but uh, we're down in this valley. That's where the creek comes out of the side of the mountain in one place. And on up, it comes out again up there. Let's walk up there, see what it looks like, where it comes out. It would be cool if we had something we could send up in there. There's no telling what's in there. All right, guys, my first good target of the day with the Equinox silver i can see the rim right there right there let's pull it out and see what it is we've dug a lot of barbers here in the past all right one dime so that's probably going to be a barber no that is not a barber that that is a seated 1883 I think Man, I can't I can't see it no eight it's either 1883 or one I can't tell all right that is freaking cool uh, we found a few seated here before not many most of the coins that come here are mercs or barbers uh, this house dated back to the 1800s, so uh, about the Civil War. So, but we haven't found a lot of seeds here because the South was broke after the Civil War. So, uh, that is that is cool. That is really cool. We'll take that, and we're gonna keep searching. Uh, there's a storage building there. You can't see it for that tree, but there's an old chimney up there. It's part of the original house, and uh, gonna get Brandon from Adventure Archaeology right over in there bottled up we think uh, and maybe a privy we're gonna look for that probably this week too so all right guys i'm out here with brandon from adventure archaeology i called in the big guns he's got me in the middle of nowhere guys let me tell y'all we're up on a mountain and uh, I have no idea where I am, so uh, I'm, I'm just glad that I trust Heath or he could leave me out here and I'd be lost forever. Was, <laughs> was the blindfold I put on you too much? No, I mean, I, I don't blame you. When you got a spot <laughs> this good, you got to protect it. <laughs> we dug a seated dime here all day yesterday, but we are looking for the privy today. What do you think? You think we're getting close? I think you're on it over here. He said he found these rocks over here and he thought that that might have been where the privy was and we were a little bit worried about it being filled with rocks but you can kind of see it's a little stiff in the top but after you get so far it really loosens up down in there but like I said we're on a mountain so the rock is kind of messing with the soil a little bit I haven't heard any glass yet so we're kind of moving around so what we're gonna do is we're just kind of spiral out from this area because what would have happened is they would have moved that privy over a little bit at a time. So yeah. there's going to be multiple holes here. And uh, once we hear glass, we'll know for sure that we're there or not. Well, Let's see. Heath, we found uh, what looks to be a whiskey still. Yes, it does. Uh, we thought it was just a, a barrel, just, you know, just trash out in the woods. And you get, you get up closer to it and look at this. Yeah. Look at that. That's indicative. Yeah, it is. What's that? 
You know, I used to work uh, with the state, and I worked a lot of alcohol stuff to begin with before I went to narcotics. Yeah. And we actually would shoot holes and take axes and, and mash and, and poach, poke holes in those yep. barrels. Yeah. So that could be what that was from where they disabled it. Yeah. The, rev the revenueers. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon, you guys see a lot of that down there digging bottles? No. No, whiskey si still is not something you run into every day. Uh, this is my first. I think it's really cool, though, because I'm I'm in agreement with you. They either took an axe or a baseball bat, and they smashed that back during the 20s. Get a close-up look at this. Look at the patina on this. Oh, uh, yeah. It's been, laying it's, here. it's been laying here for a long time. The creek's right down there. To find a whiskey still, guys, you got to have running water. you got to have cool water. And the creek's uh, cool, right there. Yeah, it's just right down there, so... It's part of it. Uh, you know, we look around, that guys, they would have been a copper coil. So what we need to do, we need to get the metal detectors, detect around, see if we can find that copper coil, because that is, was one of the key elements of a whiskey steel. Yeah. 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 It, you know what could have happened, too, is that rock foundation that we thought was part of a privy may have actually been the... Uh, hey, they the, may have the had it. For <laughs> they may have had it buried. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, hand me that tin can over there, Brandon. Oh yeah, check I'm that out. Take, I'm gonna take me a little pull. I'm gonna. Pull yeah. Knock, see, knock, see knock. if you can get just yeah. a little bit out of it. Yeah. Hey, what's cool about that is somebody opened that with a pocket. Yeah. Knife. Look at that. Oh yeah. Yeah. They stuck a pocket knife down in there. Yeah. That is wild. I don't know if that's associated that? with the still or Was not. Was that corn mash? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, they, man, where we are, they got the corn fresh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, guys, let's find the rest of it. See if we can find that, uh, that copper coil. All right, I got a good 27 signal now. All right, good, strong signal. Let's dig it up. Could be more copper. Let's see if we can find it. Well, guys, it just doesn't get much easier than that. I literally opened the hole with a shovel, put the shovel in. It fell out of the top part of the plug when I opened it up. There it is right there. We're just going to go in and take a look at it. Looks like the back of a mercury dime. I'm going to set up the tripod real quick. Sorry about the, the bumpy, guys. But you're right here with me. All right, that is definitely the back of a mercury dime. What year will it be? Oh, dropped it. It looks like a 16. All right, that's the first one for today. This could be part of it. I don't know. It's definitely time period. Definitely time period. Check this out. Check this out. Pan across. Right there is the steel, or part of the steel. That's not all the steel. That's just part of it. Uh, we've already found some copper. So we're looking for more parts of the steel and we find this mercury dime. Looks like a 1916 or so. Uh, we're going to clean it up. My eyes are bad, so I'll have to get home to really get a close look at it. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not. But uh, we're going to keep uh, going and see if we can find some more stuff here. Uh, we may be in a little hot spot. Now it's 2930. So it's a little higher. Let's see what it is. We got the hole open. Let's see what we can find. All right, we're on it there. We're on it. There it is. Shell casing? No. Look at that. That is that is copper pipe. That is copper pipe right there. That's where it was cut off. <laughs> they probably cut it this could be part of the steel i don't know it, it could just be something else but uh this is the type of material and about the size they would have used it could have been a little bigger i don't know um but this is the uh, similar to what they would have used for a steel and it would have came up and it would have started coiling around and of course in big coils and they put that coil in water to uh cool it off and that's what uh that's how they made their whiskey so that their moonshine whiskey was made with coils of copper just like this this could be related we're just feet from where we found part of the steel uh and the moonshine revenueers would have cut this off and disabled it so that it couldn't be used again we may have part of it about four inches 
let's see what it is could be more copper could be uh, something else could just be trash there's part of the steel let's see if it's uh, part of the copper coil let's dig it up see if I can do it one-handed All right, guys, we got the hole open. It's under the root. Oh, there it is, right there. Oh, no wonder it was given a lower signal. That's a mercury dime. Let's see what year it is, see if we can tell. Just a mercury dime, but man, look at that. I bet it was on edge. Normally these mercury dimes will give a 27 on this Equinox, but if they're turned so it's just hitting the rim or just the edge of it, that could give that lower signal. Let's see what year it is. I can't tell. It's either a 19, I think it's a 1918 or 1916. I, I think, no, I'm sorry, maybe a 1919. There we go. That's that's cool right there. You know, though, people carried these in their pockets for, you know, sometime 10, 15 years. So not sure when it was dropped, but it's over here by the steel. Could it have been used maybe somebody purchasing? I mean, or could it have been who was making the whiskey drop this? I, I don't know. But uh, it is definitely time period. It matches what uh, the other stuff that we're finding. I'll take that every day. Guys, we found another mason jar lid. Uh, these things are popping out like crazy. This one was just under the surface. Uh, let us know, guys, if, uh, if you think that these mason jars were used as part of this whiskey operation. Uh, it, the barrel doesn't look big. I don't think it was a big operation, but uh, there's definitely several mason jars around it. Uh, let us know in the comments down below what you think. And uh, we're going to randomly draw somebody and uh, send you guys one of these uh, mason jar lids and one of these mercury dimes that you saw found on film. Uh, comment down below. Let us know what you think. All right, guys. I put my gloves on for this. I usually wear gloves. But I found the top of what I know to be a common mason jar. Now, I haven't went on down. Could this be a mason jar full of silver coins? A bootlegger stash, a whiskey maker stash. I don't know. We'll see. I doubt it. But, uh, you know, one can dream. So let's pry it out. Well, we can tell right away that it's not whole. But it had been at one time. Look, there's the glass from it. There's the glass. So we're going to stick our pin pointer in here and double check. Yeah, that's a mason jar. It's a ball mason jar lid. Everybody thinks about moonshine. They think about those old timey looking jugs with the with the finger hole on them. That's not always the case. Down south, anybody that knows anything about prohibition and the whiskey era, most of the time, the whiskey was put in ball mason jar lids, and uh, that's that's one of them right there. And look, there we go. Still got the insert in it. Still got the porcelain insert in it, so uh, I'm guessing this is going to be Prohibition era. We find that we're finding a lot of these. These are commonly found around whiskey stills, especially old ones. All right, I'm going to move this glass up. We're going to get that out of the woods. All right, so now let's stick the pinpoint in here. There should, if there's silver in here, maybe maybe we'll find it. Right, there's something else in there. Could it be silver? But we're gonna dig it out just to make sure. Wouldn't wanna leave a bunch of silver coins in the ground, would we? That'd be horrible. Scott Duncan come along next time and find it all. I don't think so, Scott. I don't think so, buddy. If it's silver, I'm getting it. piece of iron or something that's what else was in the hole causing it to go off so no silver coins sorry guys maybe next time maybe on the next hole